ladies welcome back so in today's video i'm going to be speaking about wanting the whole package and giving my perspective on it now disclaimer is that this video i'm not coming for anybody's throat i'm solely using this quote as a prime example to really speak on this topic because i think that it's a great one and also if you guys like this video share the damn video and hit the thumbs up button because i really want to grow our sisterhood and our family obviously comment below your two cents because i want to hear what you guys have got to say so let's get into this topic now wanting the whole package seeking the whole package what do i think i think that you are looking for an alien and i think that you are never going to find that alien and even if you did find that alien, I feel as though over time, it's not going to be the ideal situation anymore. And you're going to realise that oh, it's not an alien, it's a human. And humans are not perfect. And it's not going to be the ultimate full package that you thought it was anyway. So there are always exceptions to the rule. And we know that. But 99.999% of the time, that's just not going to happen, finding the full package, the whole package, because it's just not realistic. And even if you found what you thought was the whole package now, later on, will he still want you? Will he still look as amazing to you as he did if he starts drinking too many beers at night because of the let's just say you guys are having arguments and it makes him it drives him to drink those those coronas? If that happens, <laughs> what is he still the full package to you? Or so the point is that even if it's the full package today, will it be the full package tomorrow? Will he be cheating on you tomorrow? Then it's not the full package anymore. Let's create the scenario whereby you have actually found a man who is very sexy, not in your eyes only, but to women all around the globe. Everywhere he goes, women are like. They're, they're pushing up their boobs when he comes in the room. They're like fixing their hair. He has money. He provides for you. Do you really feel like you are in a secure relationship? Do you really feel like that is the ideal package and the ideal situation and the whole package? Because that package comes with stress. And I'm telling you from experience and every other woman who has dated somebody who is very, very attractive understands this. It's not just stress because the, the lady is insecure. That's not what the stress is. It's just that you know that there are opportunities coming left, right and centre for it to be over. And I'm not coming for people who are in these relationships with good looking people I think that's great I think it's fine good for you what to do but at the end of the day there are always going to be people wanting what you have and if you yourself are not 100 out of 10 and even if you are a 100 out of 10 yourself in looks is that still enough to keep that person around and keep that ideal situation that's just one aspect of of it um, and even if you were the most attractive woman in the world, that still doesn't mean that you're not going to get cheated on or that your relationship is not going to end for one reason or another. It still does not promise you that. So your looks still don't promise you anything. Now, even if you were in this amazing situation that you thought is so perfect, what happens in 10 years down the line when that ideal package starts to deteriorate in looks what happens when you guys start arguing is that still the full package so i feel as though looking for this full package seeking this full package is just unrealistic because nothing in life as we know is perfect apart from babies and pets they are the only thing bait and animals you know they're the only thing things in life that are actually perfect and I feel as though a person who is putting that type of pressure on finding something so ideal either 
subconsciously knows that they're never going to find it and that is their that is their mechanism for um being single or something like that it's like oh i'm i'm waiting because i want the whole package i want everything and they know it's never going to come but they're using that to stop them from having to go for that relationship or start dating or do x y and z that's one point of view for me the other point of view is that they actually feel like they are worthy of a perfect situation and they must feel like they are actually perfect themselves and nobody in this world is perfect like I said beside besides babies and animals and you guys can feel like you're perfect maybe you look great maybe you're feminine as as feminine can can be maybe your your body is just like oh my gosh it's like Beyonce or something but are you really perfect no so why should you have this ideal situation and think that it's actually going to come for me personally yes I speak about beneficial dating but I'm not speaking about having the whole package because I don't think it exists I feel like you must choose what's most important to to you and go for that go for that for me looks is not the most important thing and the coronavirus should have actually told you guys that we're realizing right now that the people who the men who are still providing for you now are very very they should be highly appreciated because you probably can't even see your man right now and he's still providing for you that is personality and that is the ideal whole package for me. It's that personality that that person has, it's the characteristics, it's the type of man that he is, it's if he is a um, a really caring, compassionate person for you, towards you. It's all of those things, it's not the looks department, that for me is not the whole package. The whole package for me is who that person is inside and what they choose to do with the things that they have for you and again that's a reflection of the person that they are inside and that is the whole package for me it's finding that generous person that successful person who obviously is successful because they want the best for themselves they want to be, have the best life possible the best experiences in life be able to do real things in this world and enjoy the time that they have on this planet that's what they want the money for or you know or to provide for their future families I just feel as though when you are looking for this ideal package you're looking at the wrong things if looks are involved also yes it may be ideal for you but it's going to be ideal for every other woman in the world also and you're just setting yourself up for a life of stress in my opinion and I just feel as though I'm not downing anybody who is looking and wanting to find this alien situation or this alien relationship I'm not looking down on it but I just want everybody to have the best relationships possible and I just want you to have the best dating experiences possible and when you're going for a guy with looks and like somebody else said in my comments some of the the Teletubbies some of the Baldies they feel like they are the six-pack guy and if you do have somebody who thinks that they're the six pack or that actually is the six pack, you are in the same situation. OK, so it's about the inside. It's about the the person along with what they're doing for you, which makes that the full package for me. I feel as though when women actually start looking at those characteristics, they start looking at those qualities in a person, then we will have better marriages, better relationships, better fathers, 
um, or father figures in our children's lives. We will have less stress as well. We will have less arguments. We will have better health. We will have better dating experiences and we will live more fulfilled, happy, fruitful lives. That being said, if you are seeking this spectacular thing, especially if you want this whole love this whole love thing to be involved you want him to love you as well you want him to have money be so sexy you, him to provide for you honey you you want all of these things is it really going to happen and even if it did is it going to last for me in my earlier dating experiences i always used to look for this perfect ideal situation this perfect person and it never came it never came because even when I was with that person who I felt was the whole package it always turned out to never be the whole package because you start to know a person you start to realize what they do that winds you up sometimes you start to realize that hey you're actually not as good looking as you were initially or you start realizing that like, this guy actually cheats on me or this guy does X, Y, and Z to me. You start realizing different things and you realize that what you thought was the full package actually is not the full package to you. And I used to really seek this perfect person. I used to have lists. You, you guys know that I love a list, honey. And I used to have lists on what i wanted in somebody there were like 50 things on that damn list most of the things on there were about the outer appearance of a man and the rest of them were about his inequalities like being a bit funny or something like that that was what i deemed to be important and i have painfully realized that when it comes to a relationship with a man um that even even with a even with a woman i mean i have been in a relationship with a woman before and it just is not the main thing that holds importance for me it really isn't it's about the inequalities of that person and i'm speaking about a woman's perspective from dating from a woman's perspective if it's a man dating a woman he goes solely off of looks and then personality comes afterwards when it's women we really are going mostly for how that person makes us feel, how they treat us. And a top quality person, an ideal situation is really ideal and perfect when the person is amazing to you in terms of treatment. I think that that is the whole package. I think that that is the whole thing and what we should actually be seeking and striving for. But I would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section. So if you have differing views, if you have the same views, I still want to hear from you in the comments. If you feel as though this alien is not an alien and I am just so stupid right now, then let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you also. If you feel like I've missed any points, then comment below. And again, I want to make this very clear. I'm not coming for anybody's throat. I really appreciate every single one of you and I have in the comments, I know you guys now, I know some of you when I see sometimes just your display pic, I know who it is who's commenting. I know your personalities from the comments, the things that you say to me and I am in no way coming for any of you because I actually have a lot of I was going to say feelings for you. I have a lot of love for you guys, okay? So I don't want anybody to be in their feelings. I don't want anybody to feel like I'm coming for them. That's not the case. But this channel is a sisterhood. We should be able to discuss every single topic under the sun. And even if it makes somebody feel a tiny bit uncomfortable, it's still something that we should be able to speak about. Because I don't want this to be like any other generic channel where we have to step on eggshells and we can't well i have to step on eggshells and i can't fully be myself no i want to be able to be myself and really try to make an impact and if i'm trying to hold back because oh no somebody might be really offended right now i'm never going to truly be able to 
help anybody or maybe resonate with them resonate <laughs> resonate with them or make any type of impact if i'm holding back so that's why i did this video and i hope that you liked the video and i'll see you guys in the next one